Hello everyone, welcome to this video on Improving Grid Quality Part 3. The case considered here is a volute. Volutes are of various shapes and sizes. One of the variations is at the cross section of the throat. In most cases, using a simpler block structure would create a good quality mesh. However, in this case considered, the throat has a highly elliptical cross section. Capturing the curve results in highly skewed cells. The block highlighted in sea blue color shows the block which has skewed cells. Let's move to the topology of the above grid. The highlighted block is being stretched in either directions to balance the density. Increasing the density could solve the problem to some extent, but may not completely eliminate the skewed cells due to the internal surface, which fixes the block boundary at the feature curve representing the throat. In such scenarios, the stretching can be resolved by internal splitting of blocks called internal wrap if the insert option cannot be used. The key to resolve the grid is to identify the region where the blocks have to be split. To start with, we need to identify the faces where an acute or an obtuse angle is created. Here we find in the block highlighted, we have an acute as well as an obtuse angle. Let us look at resolving the obtuse angle first. Choose a path which could relax the grid lines. In this case, the red line indicates the path along which a grid line has to be aligned to reduce the obtuse angle. One obvious option is to split the blocks using insert, but the inserted sheets also do not follow the desired path. To internal wrap, select a closer block boundary that represents the path identified. And select the entire sheet as shown here. The blocks are split here using internal wrap to get a block boundary imitating the selected path. Next, the acute angle can be resolved by moving the adjacent block edges closer to each other. The density of the wrapped edges can be increased to move the blocks closer. To aid in converging the grid faster, the wrapped corners can be repositioned using work plane. The repositioned block structure looks like this. The grid for the modified topology has smoother transition, lesser skew and aspect ratio. To summarize the video, internal wrap can be used very effectively in reducing skewness and stretching in the grids. The key is to find the blocks where the angles are bad and improve them with internal wrap function. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to the channel to get updates on new videos.